Robbie Fowler is a Liverpool legend, there is no doubt about that. The former Red scored 183 goals in 369 games across two spells at the club and will forever be enshrined in Liverpool folklore. Due to his goal-scoring exploits for the club, Fowler is part of an unofficial elite club which means he can do no wrong as far as the Liverpool faithful are concerned. Another striker that can seemingly do no wrong for Liverpool is Mohamed Salah, the Egyptian forward has built quite the fan base since joining just 18 months ago. Scoring a record 32 goals and earning the golden boot in the Premier League last season obviously helped, and Salah is currently on course to replicate that feat, currently leading the scoring charts with 16. However this season has also been littered with controversy and criticism aimed at the Egyptian due to multiple incidents suggesting that Salah may have conned the referee into awarding a penalty due to diving. Salah managed to win a controversial penalty in which he converted during a tight 1-0 win over Brighton, however a similar incident went against him in Liverpool's 4-3 win over Crystal Palace, however the Egyptian wasn't booked. The criticism has no doubt been heightened due to the overwhelming success of the Egyptian but Fowler, who writes for The Mirror, believes Salah could be a victim of his own roots. I was never one for diving, if I had a chance to get a shot off, I'd always take it," Fowler said. Yet, I've been shaking my head in disbelief at the criticism aimed at Mohamed Salah in recent weeks for what people have been particularly eager to call cheating. It's been sustained and hostile, and I'm wondering why," Fowler added. Why it's been much worse than that aimed at Harry Kane this season, for instance, or in the past, say Michael Owen or David Beckham, and I'm not singling them out. Fowler then dropped a bombshell on what he believes the reasoning for the criticism could be, and it's nothing to do with Salah's diving. We have to be very careful as football fans. We need to stop and think about whether Salah is being targeted for where he comes from and who he is. It seems like stereotyping and possibly because he's an overseas player. If that is the case, it's totally unacceptable.